What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Shopify speed tests. How you can test your Shopify store speed. We're gonna show you three different tools today, which are gonna give you a broad overview of your Shopify store speed. And it's gonna make it really easy to test it here. All these tools are free, so don't worry there. And we'll show you these three tools today. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. Before I dive into it, I just wanna thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's gonna allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. Now I'm just gonna show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. All right, so let's dive into it now for Shopify speed tests. And we'll show you the three websites. The three websites we're gonna to use today are GT Metrics, Pingdom, and Google Pages Speed Insights. And so let's load each of these up. I have a Shopify store. This one's quite large called ColorPop. And I'll show you the speed for each of them here. Once you hit analyze, it's just gonna analyze the website, looking at different things such as the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript, as well as what's slowing down the website and what's taking up most of the website, data that's being transferred. Let's first take a look at things with Pingdom. It will give you an overall performance grade, a page size, the number of requests that are being made, as well as the load time. So we can see from this region in North America, the load time's 4.3 seconds, which is on the slower end for larger Shopify stores, but that's because the page size is so large. If we can scroll down, we can get some tips here on how to improve page performance. A lot of these you're not gonna be able to do, a Shopify is going to optimize this for you. You're not going to be able to make those changes, but we can see content size. So we can see most of the page size here is from images. So if they possibly wanted to speed things up, they could reduce the number of images on their homepage. And that's going to be a question they're going to ask themselves if they're looking to improve page speed, but they might make that trade off here as they want to have a lot of images on their website to feature their products. And if you go to their website, that's obviously a decision they did make as there's a ton of project or product imagery here, which is what they're looking for. Next, let's take a look at GT metrics. It's going to give you a GT metrics grade. So you can see the performance grade isn't so great here as it takes a long time to get the content full paint here. So we can see that's the first content element to appear. It's a hero image or a heading text. And so that's become viewable on your visitor's device or viewport. So we see total blocking times 1.2, which is red, so not great. Cune of layout shift is 0.07. GT Metrics has a lot of detail here in different tabs. We can see summary, performance, structure, waterfall, video, and history. The speed visualization is great as we can see how fast things are loading for the user. You can see it took 4.3 seconds to load an image. It took 9.9 .9 seconds till it became interactive. Then it was fully loaded at 18.2 seconds, which is quite a bit of time. We see different issues that are possible to fix. You can see the total page size. If you scroll through each of these tabs here, you can get performance metrics on the speed index, total blocking time. You get the structure of the website. It's gonna tell you the impact each thing is making. There's also a waterfall, which is a great analysis. As if you scroll down, it's gonna show you what's loaded in what order and how much time it takes. A lot of times if you have different Shopify apps, you can see them in the waterfall section as they might be blocking the rendering of the page, which can slow down how fast to Shopify store is loading and you can see what it is here on the left it's going to show you the URL. You can also separate it by HTML, CSS. So if you're looking at different Shopify apps, the JS, so JavaScript would be a good one to look at. If you do create a free account with GT Metrics, you can get a video of how the page is loading. So overall, a ton of detail on GT Metrics. It's got more than Pingdom here. I tend to like running multiple of them at the same time, as it's going to give you an average here on the load time. Pingdom also lets you load from several different regions, depending on where your Shopify store is located. Lastly, let's take a look at PageSpeed Insights. What PageSpeed Insights is great for is giving you a lot Lot of opportunities and advice on how you can speed up your page. So you can see opportunities are for ColourPop or to reduce unused JavaScript, eliminate render blocking resources, defer images to off screen, reduce unused CSS. There's also diagnostics in terms of avoiding enormous network payloads. So we went over that one is that it's going to be images here are taking up most of the data transferred when this web page is loaded. So overall, some good tips here. You can also separate this between mobile and desktop. So in terms of ranking these tools here, GT Metrics seems to have the most detail, followed by PageSpeed's insights, then followed by ping them last. So if you were to use one of them, I would recommend GT Metrics. And that's purely just based on my own experience and the amount of details it provides. So these are all apart from using Shopify's own PageSpeed tool. And if you're curious on how to access that, 
You simply log into your Shopify dashboard, hit online store in the left. And once that loads, you're gonna get an online store speed section and you can view the report to get more details. This concludes the video on the Shopify speed test. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I wanna mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. And there's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.